Hello guys, got a little video here for you today on the Air Max Tran and what we're going to be talking about in this one is the efficiency of the rifle. So in the previous video what we talked about was how we was only getting around 80 or 90 shots from a 250 bar film. Now when you consider this rifle only has a 165cc air cylinder and a very very short barrel, that isn't terrible but we always want to squeeze a few extra shots out of it so we can go longer between fills. And with a bit of playing around, a little bit of experimentation, we've managed to bump that shot count up to around the 130 shot mark from the same 250 bar film. And the way we've managed to accomplish that is by using one of these. Now this is a transfer port sleeve or a transfer port plug, which when fitted into the rifle, reduces the transfer port that's in, actually in the block of the rifle down to around 4.5 or 4.6 millimetres. The drilled transfer port in the block at the moment is around the 7mm mark, whilst that large hole is very good for FAC rifles as it allows a large volume of air to pass through it, it's not so good for sub-12 rifles. It's not that great for the sub-12 rifles as the air is able to expand before it gets to the back of the pellet. So what happens is it expands before it hits the back of the pellet, losing a small amount of energy and slowing the potential velocity of the pellet down. To overcome this, what we have to do is hit the valve harder, release more air so it's not able to expand as quickly as it travels through the block. And then that's where this little plug comes in. The little plug stops the air from expanding so quickly, so more energy is available to the back of the pellet. And we can wind off the hammer spring a little to increase the efficiency of the rifle. The little plug allows us to use a lower hammer spring setting for the same amount of power. So we can wind a little off the hammer spring the hammer will hit the valve a little softer and will waste less air pushing the pellet out the end of the barrel. Anyway, that's a quick explanation of how it works. I'll just briefly show you how it fits. And the first thing we're going to do is remove the barrel shroud. But this just unscrews. We'll take that off, stick it to one side. That exposes the barrel. We can then remove the barrel via these two screws here. The front one is a 3mm, you don't need to take that one all the way out, and the second one is a 4mm Allen key. For this one it does need to be removed completely. Then we can slide the barrel out, and if we look down this hole here, that's the transfer port hole. So. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick that up, but in that hole you can just about see the valve pin. So that's the drilling which connects the valve, so around this area here, to the back of the barrel. And our little plug, this one here, just drops in the hole like so. And then with a 5mm Allen key, I'm just going to do that in. If you look in this side with the pellet probe retracted, you can just see it sticking up there. We screw that in till it's flush. So around there. So once that's in there, we can really install our barrel. So we just align the two flats with the top, put it in like so, rotate it roughly till flat, and then we'll do the front one up first. And that's again with a 3mm Allen key, just doing it till it touches giving the barrel a little wiggle to make sure it's nice and flat and doing it up nice and tight. The back one can be reinstalled with a 4mm Allen key. Then we can just screw the shroud back on. There we have it, all fitted. And the final thing we needed to do once fitting the plug was readjust the hammer spring so we were getting the same power. That's very, very easy to do. So on the bottom here, we have this locking screw. So with a two and a half mil Allen key, loosen the locking screw. And once the lock's been loosened, you can use a five mil Allen key, just in the back of the hammer spring adjuster there to readjust your power. So very easy to do. All you need to do is run the rifle over the chronograph and then readjust the hammer spring to suit. So doing the screw in or clockwise increases the power and loosening the screw or doing it counterclockwise decreases the power. So I've already done it for my rifle, this has been fully tested over the weekend. So I'm going to leave mine where it is and just 
do up the lock and screw again with a two and a half mil Allen key. And then that's it. So from a 250 bar fill, we were getting around 80 or 90 shots. We've now bumped that up to around 130. Right then, with that all out of the way, I just want to talk briefly about the availability of the pucks. So I've been talking with the actual Air Max UK importer, Chris over at CDR Guns, and he's come up with a very, very, very similar solution to me. So he's the one that's actually going to be making and distributing them. Although before he's sending any out or fitting any to the new rifles, they need to be tested fully first to make sure nothing else changes within the guns. So he's going to be giving a few to Crawley Surplus Store for them to have a proper test as well. So the pucks are going to be probably available soon, but not right at the moment. So Chris, the importer, does actually have a YouTube channel, CDR Guns. So if you're interested in updates and everything like that, it's well worth following him. I'm sure he'll release a video on how to fit it and all that once they're ready. But that's going to about do it for this one, guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.